Giants, Johnny Cueto was just on point tonight. He takes his record of 5-1. and one. The one little hiccup came of the night. Javi Lopez gets his 10th Major League save, or 14th Major League save, 10th as a Giant, going back to September 2013. And Santiago Casilla, who blew the save yesterday on the Michael Saunders homer of the night, allows the double to Goslin. Gene Segura will single. You know Paul Goldschmidt is looking there somewhere. And uh, Drury, he will get on a strikeout, Sean. You think, nice pitch there. He's going to get out of this. But he, he walks Goldschmidt. He got a lefty coming up and Jake Lamb, who hit a home run against Casilla earlier in the year for one of his blown saves. So, Coach does what he got to do here, right? Go left time left and bring in Javi Lopez to face Lamb. Again, Lamb homered against Casilla earlier in the year. He blew the save yesterday. Now, watch what happens here when Bochy comes to get the baseball. Clinton snaps it. Highly unprofessional. He can't do that. I, I understand emotions are on overdrive right there with Santiago Casilla being that he blew the save yesterday. He blew the save against the Diamondbacks. The guy that came up to, was coming up to the play is the guy that he gave up the, the tying home run to at AT&T Park. But, and you want, you want to get that out. I mean, you want to get that final out. It, it's, he wants to, you know, make up for what had happened yesterday. He wants to make up for what had happened against Lamb. He gets a perfect opportunity. But Bruce Bochy's thinking this, we need to win ball games. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna play favorites right here. Uh, and so he's, he's not happy he's going out to get the ball. I mean, he wants not to even see to finish the game. That's his closer, but he's not getting the job done. Made some mistakes there in that ninth inning, and I think more than anything, it was the matchup. I mean, if Jake, anybody but Jake Lamb comes up to the plate there, he probably is able to finish the game. But everybody remembers, he took him deep at home. You got your left, Dean Javier Lopez. The guy's 0 for 2 with two punch outs against you. You're trying to win games. You need yeah. to win this game. He showed up to manage here. Cannot do I mean, that. This is a Hall of Fame manager, one of the best I've ever seen to work in a bullpen. He showed him up. Now, the problem is you can't give the job to anybody on the roster. Romo's hurt. I don't know what you do, but they got a problem right they'll, now. They'll have a sit-down, I'm sure, tomorrow, maybe even tonight, and they'll talk it out. And I'm sure he's a good guy. And he lost his composure, though. He's, he's just lost his composure. All right, we'll talk about Tim Lincecum and the uh, activation to call up to the major leagues of uh, Clayton Blackburn. That's next on East Sharon's Giants Post Game Live. That before, so Bochy said he probably got a little too emotional. All is good. He was leaving. I said, hey, Santiago, come back here. And then he said, no, you could, he, no, you could go when Santiago came back. I didn't see it initially. Casilla left the mound before Bochy got to the mound. That, that's the problem. Well, I mean, you're a pitcher. You know when the manager's coming out, and Bochy isn't like, sprinting to the mound. So it takes a while for Bochy to get out there. So you, you have a lot of time to understand, like, I'm coming out of this game. You look down there, you see Javier Lopez warming up. He's fuming. Obviously, he's got the bases loaded with two outs. He wants to finish the game. He doesn't want to blow the lit bulb to save. He just got done blowing one yesterday. He wants to make up for that. So, you know, you get emotional. He walked off the front of the mound. Probably talking to himself a little bit, saying stuff out loud. Boats gets to the mound, and you know the emotions are high. They're, they're racing. They're high. They're and crazy. What you do is you, you don't think about it, and you just you get mad. And you, I've done it before. I've walked off the mound as the manager's coming with Dusty Baker. You did it to Dusty. He said, "Get back here." I came back there. I handed the ball the right way, and I went to the dugout. So uh, right. it's happened. It happened. Right. Any pitcher that's pitched in the major leagues has probably had that scenario happen before. You don't want to come out of a game, manager's coming out, emotions are high. You maybe give the ball to him a little bit too firmly, a little too early. You don't want the manager doesn't want to be shown up. All right, and, and folks did say all is good because Lopez got Jake Lamb out to save the game. Had it gone, <laughs> gone the other way, it would not have been nearly as good. But anyway, all right, Tim Lincecum, he had a showcase on Friday. You were there. You watched it all. You spoke to him after. He a good curveball he had. So now we're hearing uh, the three most interested teams are the Giants and two from the American League, the Angels and the White Sox. So we'll see how this plays out, but there's been uh, no resolution since he took his Nike box and walked off the mound at Scottsdale Stadium. You saw him up close.